One lovely Saturday morning, Henry was puffing along. The sun shone, the fields were green, the birds sang. Henry had plenty of steam in his boiler and he was feeling happy. I feel so well, I feel so well, I feel so well, I feel so well. Just ahead, Henry saw some boys on a bridge and he thought he would whistle to them and say, hello. Hello, boys. Hello. Hello, boys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That hurt. Yes, it did hurt, for the boys didn't wave back at Henry and say hello. No, they dropped stones on him instead. They were silly, stupid boys who thought it would be fun to drop stones down his funnel. Some of the stones hit Henry's boiler and spoiled his paint, and one hit the fireman on the head as he was shoveling coal, and others broke the carriage windows. Henry was very upset. Oh, it's a shame! It's a shame! It's a shame! It's a shame! The coaches were upset too. They broke in our glass, they broke in our glass, they broke in our glass, they broke in our glass. The driver opened the first aid box, bandaged the fireman's head, and planned what he was going to do. They stopped the train, and the guard asked if any of the passengers were hurt. No one was hurt, but everyone was cross. They saw the fireman's bumped head and told him what to do for it. And they looked at Henry's paint. And someone said, Look here, this is too much. Call the police. But Henry's driver said, No, you leave it to Henry and me. We'll teach those lads a lesson. Well, what will you do then? Well, can you keep a secret? Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Well then, Henry is going to sneeze at them. What? 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 Yes, Henry is going to sneeze at them. Look, Henry draws air in through his fire and puffs it out with smoke and steam. Well, when he puffs hard, the air blows ashes from his fire into the smoke box, and these ashes sometimes prevent him puffing properly. I mean, when your nose is blocked, you sometimes sneeze, don't you? Well, if Henry's smoke box is blocked, I can make air and steam blow the ashes through his funnel. We will do it at the bridge and startle those young fellow my lads. You see... So Henry puffed onto the terminus where he had a rest. Then he took the train back. Lots of people were waiting at the station just before the bridge. They wanted to see what would happen. Henry's driver said, Well, that's all right, Henry. Now, he's got plenty of ashes. Now, keep all the windows shut until we've passed the bridge. Henry is as excited as we are. Aren't you, old fellow? Eh? <laughs>
and he patted Henry's boiler. Henry didn't answer. He was feeling just a bit stuffed up. But he went, <laughs> He was already feeling like sneezing. <laughs> the guard waved his flag and blew his whistle. And they were off. Soon, in the distance, they saw the bridge. Yes, the boys were there, and they all had stones. Henry's driver said, Are you ready then, Henry? Now, sneeze hard when I tell you. Now! <laughs> Smoke and steam and ashes spouted from his funnel. They went all over the bridge and all over the boys, who ran away smothered in soot and cinders. Henry's driver couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Henry. Uh, they won't drop stones on engines again. <laughs> oh dear, your coat is all black, but well, we'll rub you down and paint your scratches out, and you'll be as good as new tomorrow. <laughs> Henry has never again sneezed under a bridge. The fat controller doesn't like it. His smoke box is always cleaned in the yard while he's resting. He has now gone under more bridges than he can count, but from that day to this, there have been no more boys with stones.